Hi, I'm Dale Stain, and these are my five steamers, my best picks for this year's World Cup. At number five, I have Mark Wood from England. I've really been impressed by this man. He bowls with extreme pace. I think England can use him at times when they're looking for wickets, and they don't really worry about something like his economy rate. They really want him to break through and um, get them those wickets that they want. So I've got a keen eye on Mark Wood throughout this tournament. At number four, I have KG Rabada. He's just the main bowler for the South African lineup, and with Anrich Nokia not being here, South Africa are going to rely heavily on somebody like him. He's experienced, he's been around the world, he's played a lot of cricket here in India, especially during the IPL. He has a knack of taking wickets all the time, and he's just a crafty bowler. So I think KG Rabada is going to play him a big role for South Africa in this World Cup. At number three, I have Shahin Shah Afridi from Pakistan. He is a phenomenal bowler, especially with the new ball and the start of an innings. He's big, he's fast, bowls with that left arm of his, and he's able to take wickets. He targets those stumps, and um, he can pick up wickets with the new ball in the power play and really break up the game for Pakistan when they need it. At number two, I have Mohammad Suraj from India. He's come on leaps and bounds in the last couple of years, and India really rely on him to get them off to a good start. He's got great skills, can swing the ball away, can nip it back in when he wants to, and he's a really good death bowler. So I think he couples well with all the other bowlers that India have, but I think he's one of the main guys that I'm going to look out from an Indian point of view for this World Cup. And number one, I have Trent Bolt. I've been a big fan of Trent Bolt for many years. I love the way that Kane Williamson uses Trent Bolt. He allows him to run in and bowl with that new ball for an extended period of time. He doesn't take him off after two or three overs, which allows him to get into a bit of rhythm. And when there is something happening with that new ball, he always tends to pick up a couple wickets. Two, three, potentially even four in his first five or six overs. So he's a guy who I've tipped also to be the main wicket taker or the number one wicket taker of this World Cup. So keep an eye out on, on Trent Bolt for this World Cup.